getting associated with the uh, Chinese Historical Society, I started writing stories. And stories about China, my mom's village, my dad's village. So after writing the stories, I had an interest to go back to China and I visit the village. And uh, it was very touching in that uh, it connected me to the roots. And I didn't think that it would affect me that much. And uh, after visiting my mom's village, I, I know about their hardships. Two days after I went to my mom's village, I actually broke down and I had a good cry with my brothers. It uh, kind of hit me all. It hit me because uh, the hardships my uh, parents went through, my grandfather went through, I uh, didn't really appreciate it until uh, after I visited my mom's village. I can only imagine um, that powerful moment and um, realization for you, there's a calling for you to go back to your parents' village and go back to China. Um, to me, it sounds like um, it was a, also like a, a you're thirsty of more, educate, uh, more information, but also it's like a healing process of connecting everything together at the same time. I think you put it very correctly. That's true. Um, I was kind of like a bit of each culture, but I wasn't connected. So um, a lot of ways people say, well, you're really, uh, you're really like a white person. And then other people would say, well, you're really Chinese. And uh, now when people say, well, you're really Chinese, I'm, I'm thinking, well, thank you very much. I appreciate it. Now I'm kind of blended together, so the total package is, um, uh, I don't know if people like to say Chinese Canadian, but I consider myself Chinese Canadian, and uh, hence my uh, YouTube site, uh, Chinese Canadian Roots TV. So it, uh, it goes with that theme. Well, thank you so much, um, Dad, for sharing that. I yeah. really appreciate it. Thank story. you. Thank you. Thank you very much.